Recently, the beta version of the official Home Assistant companion app for Android now released a new feature that users of Android Auto are gonna love. Google recently released an update to their Android Auto platform that allows developers to create applications that interface with IoT platforms. This now means that your Android Auto head unit can communicate with your smart home. The latest beta release of the official Home Assistant companion for Android now supports Android Auto. So on today's episode, we're gonna do a quick overview of the initial release and what features it supports and what you can do with it with your smart home. I picked the wrong day to do this video. Now I'm still driving my 2012 Volvo S60 that I purchased back in 2014. It's been a relatively reliable car and pretty fun to drive. But of course, a car from 2012 doesn't have any smart interfaces on it. The best I had was Bluetooth. Unfortunately with Volvos, you cannot replace the head unit with an aftermarket one because of the integrations to the car. Like literally, if you go to crutchfield.com, there are no options available for this car. So that led me to one of these aftermarket Android Auto head units. Now I currently have the Roadtop 8.8 inch widescreen receiver I got on Amazon. I picked it out specifically because it would fit in this area on my dashboard in the Volvo. This little touchscreen supports both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It also supports some other screen mirroring features and Bluetooth streaming. Also this little head unit comes with a backup camera, so that was a nice safety feature that I was able to add to the car. So now I'm able to keep this car on the road for a few more years. Now of course, to access these new home system features on your Android Auto head unit, you'll need to be running the latest version of Android Auto and also running at least version 23.1 of Home Assistant. Currently, you also need to be on the beta track of the Home Assistant companion app for Android, with the current beta being the 2023.1 beta. Supposedly, this is gonna roll out into the standard track either next week or the week after. So if you don't wanna join the beta group, you can go ahead and wait for the 2022.2 release for the official support for Android Auto. Now, real quick, before we get into the features, if you could please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. That helps get this information out to other users that are just getting started with Home Assistant. So the two main features that you get with the new Android Auto integration are, one, you get a binary sensor that'll tell you the status of your phone if it is connected or disconnected from Android Auto, and two, you get touchscreen control over your Home Assistant devices. So for the first new feature, let's go ahead and open up the Android Companion app. We'll click on the left bar, scroll down to settings, and then scroll to the very bottom of your settings. That's where you're gonna see the companion app options. Then we're gonna click manage sensors. Right here at the top, we're gonna see the Android Auto sensor, which currently says false because I'm disconnected from the head unit. But if we click on that, we can enable or disable the sensor. Now again, the sensor is only gonna give you a false or a true to indicate if you are or are not currently connected to your head unit. Now, one of the things I saw a few people in the forums suggest is maybe have the option of telling you which device it is currently connected to, like the unique identifier of the head unit, so you know which car you're connected to if you have multiple cars in your family that have Android Auto. So now, this will come into Home Assistant and you can use it for things like automations. So for example, a good automation would be if you have a smart garage door opener. So you can set it up where you're away from your house, but when you approach your house and become home, if you're connected to your Android Auto head unit and your garage door is closed, it's gonna assume you're in your car and it will go ahead and open up your garage door. You can also use this in conjunction with things like Tasker to then set your phone into different modes. So for the second major feature, now we have touchscreen control on our Android Auto head units of all of our Home Assistant devices. So if you do have the beta version of the app installed or this has been fully released, you'll now notice you have a Home Assistant icon on your Android Auto main menu. If you click on this, you see you have access to all of the different domains in your house, anything that you can control. So things like buttons, locks, covers, lights, things like that. Now, this is the initial release, so there still is not any options in there. All it does is output all of your devices, very similar to how it works on Android Wear. This means that if you have a lot of devices like me and your lights or switches, you may run into problems. I have noticed on this beta version, if I open my switches or my lights, it crashes probably because of the high number of devices that are in there. But as you can see, you can go in here and activate things like covers, so you can open and close your garage door if you happen to have it tied that, or any of your smart shades. One nice feature is it does show you the instantaneous status of all your devices. So if you have things like locks, you can check on your head unit after you leave the house and lock or lock a back door if you forgot to do that. Now, the last feature that's available on the touchscreen control is at the bottom. Any of your sensors or your device trackers that give a actual location status or any of your zones, you can navigate directly to those. So if you have family members that share their location data, you can easily navigate to their current position. So with the addition of the new features in the Android Companion app, you now have full control over your home from within your car. You can also see if your phone is currently connected and know if you're actually in your car currently driving. Now, if you combine this with my last video on bringing car data into Home Assistant, it really makes your car feel like just an extension of your smart home. 
So I hope to see some enhancements to the upcoming versions and add some clever features that I haven't even thought of. If you come up with a clever automation that utilizes the new Android Auto integration, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm gonna collect a few of these and I'll probably go ahead and do a video on how to do these different types of automations to make your life a little bit easier. Of course, if you suggest the idea, I'll give you credit in the video. Now, if you made it this far in the video, I assume that you're super into Home Assistant. So I've got a whole playlist of other integrations right here that you can go in and I'll take you through step by step. And of course, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking right here. Thanks again, I'll see you on the next video.